Hi everyone and happy Monday. It's Coach Katie here with National Kids Gym and Ferdy and Daisy may make an appearance later. Um, I hope you guys are having a good start to your week even though it's rainy and dreary outside. Um, but let's do something we could do inside to stay active and warm up our bodies. So today is all about the balance beam. And I understand that you guys may not have a balance beam at home. So you can find anything to draw a straight line on the floor. Um, I used a piece of duct tape. So I put two pieces of duct tape on my mat uh, to form my red balance beam. And that's what's gonna be my balance beam today. Um, you can use chalk if you're outside. You can use a blanket or a bed sheet and stretch it out nice and long and flat. Um, you can use anything that works for you to form a nice straight line that can be your balance beam inside today. Uh, so let's start with a warm up first. We're gonna circle our whole body around. So let's start with our head. We're gonna make some circles with our head. We're gonna drop our ear down to one side, around back and to the other side. So let's make circles with our head. And let's switch directions. Make a circle with your head and one more. And how about we circle out our shoulders? So let's make big circles to the front and big circles to the back. One, two, three. And let's make circles with our whole arm. So let's go one, two, three, and three to the back. One, two, three. How about our wrists? Can we make little circles with our wrists? One, two, three, and opposite direction. One, two, three. Let's go down to our hips. So hands on your hips. And let's make big circles with our hips. One, two, three, and let's go in the opposite direction. One, two, and three. How about our knees? Can we put our knees together? Let's make circles with our knees. One, two, three, and opposite direction. One, two, three, and let's try our ankles. So one at a time, you can lift it up for extra balance and we're gonna make big circles and opposite direction. One, two, three, and next foot. Let's see, lift it up. One, two, three, and opposite direction. Very nice, how about your whole body, ready? One, two, three, and opposite direction. Let's go, Freddie. One, two, and three. Very good, good circles. All right, and we're gonna practice a couple different types of walks on the beam today. So first we have to practice our tiptoes. So Freddie, up on your tiptoes, and let's walk around. We could put our hands on our hips, or we can make our crown. So arms up high, so let's practice those tiptoes with our crown on. Good job, Fergie, up on those toes. Very nice. All right, so put your crown up high, lift your head up high. You're a king, you're a queen. And then tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Perfect, and last. The next thing we're gonna do is our flamingo walk or our coupe. So we're gonna put hands on our hips and we sort of look like a flamingo. We lift our foot up, bend our knee, and point your toe down, and we're just lifting our foot up to our ankle. So not really high, but just up to our ankle. So we're practicing our coupe. Can everybody say coupe? And practice that coupe walk. Let's go again. So point your toe down, just lift it up to your ankle, lifting that knee up, and we're practicing our coupe walk. Beautiful. And Today we're also going to do some bunny hops. So can everybody hop like a bunny? Hop, 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 hop like a bunny. Hop, 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 stop. Very nice. And we're going to do a bigger jump too. It's called a tuck jump. So our knees come up to our belly buttons with our tuck jump, okay? So we're going to try and lift our knees to our tum-tum, not our bum bum. So we're not trying to lift feet up to our butt. Instead, we're trying to lift knees up to our belly. So are you ready to try a tuck jump? Let's go. Tuck, 
your knees up high, okay? And you have to stick it. Miss Katie did not stick that one. So let's try it again. Tuck and stick it. Make sure you're landing nice and safe. And we're going to try to land with our feet together because we're going to be on the balance beam in just a minute. So let's try again. Tuck and stick it. Excellent job. And our last move we're going to do, which is a little tricky, is we are going to do our straight kick. So again, we're going to put our hands on our hips and we're going to try to point our toe and lift our leg up nice and straight as high as you can. So about to your hip, if you can, nice straight legs. So we're kick and step, kick and step, kick and step and turn around. Let's try kick and step, kick and step. Notice my whole body is not moving around, just my legs. Kick and step, be in control of your leg. Kick and step, kick and step. All right, are you ready to get started? So, if you didn't already create a balance beam, pause the video, go get a balance beam, and then come back when you're ready. All right, I have my balance beam, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put on that crown, and we're gonna tippy toe. So you don't want to stare down at your balance beam the whole time. Instead, you want to keep your head up and you go look at the end of your balance beam. So I'm going to put my crown on and let's try it. For the excuse me, we're going to try our tippy toes. So if you start looking down, make sure to lift your head up. And we're going to walk across our balance beam. And when you reach the end, you can try again. So put that crown on. We are kings and queens today. And we're going to lift up. Lift our head up and walk across that balance beam all the way. Nice job. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go to a luau. Are you guys ready? So I'm going to put on my flowers and I'm going to pretend like I'm in a Hawaiian luau. And we're going to walk sideways on the balance beam. So you could be on your toes if you want to make it harder, or you could do flat feet and try not to fall off. I'm going to hula, hula sideways across my balance beam. So let's see. Aloha here, aloha here. Make sure you do not fall off your balance beam. So this time I'm going to try it on my toes. I hope Ferdy doesn't knock me over. Let's see. Aloha here, aloha here. Very nice. And we're going sideways. We're at our Hawaiian luau on the balance beam. The next thing we're gonna do, bye bye flowers. We are going to be a bunny. So let's put on our bunny ears. It's time to hop like a bunny across the balance beam. So glue those feet together. I'm gonna pretend I'm a bunny with little bunny arms. And let's see, we're gonna hop, 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 but don't fall off. Pretend to twitch my nose. And let's hop, hop, hop. Keep your head up as we're hopping, hopping, hopping all the way across our balance beam. Nice job. Instead of a bunny, let's be a flamingo. So let's do our coupe. So we're going to put hands on our hips. And friends, where do we lift our toes up? Do we lift our toes up to our knee or up to our ankle? That's right, up to our ankles. So we're going to keep our head up high, hands on our hip, and we're going to lift our foot up to our ankle and step. So lift up and step, lift and step. Try and keep your head up. You're looking at the end of your balance beam. And turn direction. Let's try again. We look like a flamingo. So you're balancing nicely on one leg, pointing your toes behind you. Very nice. Step, step. This is called our coupe. Awesome. And let's try those straight kicks. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in the Navy. So let's see. We're going to put hands on our hips. This one might be a little bit harder. And let's try our big kick. And step. 
So we're putting our foot down right in front of our other foot. Kick and step. Try to point that toe at the top. Kick and step. Kick and step. Do not fall off. Kick and step. Kick and step. And we can turn around. Let's try again. So we're going to kick and step. See how high you can lift your leg up. Oh, Miss Katie almost fell off her imaginary balancing. Kick and step. Kick and step. Kick and step. Very nice job. All right. I brought a lot of props out and now I'm going to jump over them. So we're going to try those big tuck jumps. I'm going to put down some of my props that I brought. Uh, you can use pillows. You can use stuffed animals. You can use whatever you have laying around. I want to introduce you to my special stuffed animal. This guy's name is Hoagie. This is Miss Katie's oldest stuffed animal and Hoagie is a world traveler and Hoagie has gone on every single trip around the world with me. Um, so say hi Hoagie. Hi friends. <laughs> This is Miss Katie's special stuffed animal, and I'm going to jump over him today. So I'm going to use my hat, I'm going to use Hoagie, and I'm going to use my bunny ears. And I'm going to put them on the balance beam. Hopefully Bertie doesn't eat them. Bertie, uh-uh. <laughs> Bertie, no thank you. Okay. I'm going to put Hoagie down. Uh-uh. Bertie. And my hat. And let's try our big tough jump over each item, okay? So... I'm going to walk up to my bunny ears, and I have to try my tuck jump, so knees up to my belly. Ready? Big tuck jump, and stick it. Nice job. And then walk up to Hoagie. Let's see. Tuck jump, tuck, and stick it. And let's see. Over my sailor hat. Big tuck jump, and stick it. Oops. I stepped on the hat. All right, let's try again. Let's see if we can do those big jumps. So ready? Tuck jump, and stick it. And walk up to your next item. Tuck jump. Stick it. And last one. Big tuck jump. And stick it. Awesome job. All right. So we practiced a lot of different things on the balance beam. We practiced our tuck jumps, our bunny hops, our coupe walk, our straight kicks, tippy toe, walking sideways. You guys did a great job on the balance beam today. Um, so I wanted to give a couple shout outs. <laughs> Birdie wants to say hello to a few of our friends. So I want to say hi to Annabelle, hi to Rawson, and a special shout out to Olivia and Logan. It's Logan's seventh birthday today. So happy birthday to Logan. I hope you have fun balancing. Maybe you can even put a birthday cake on your head and balance with a birthday cake on your head. Uh, <laughs> If it falls off, then you can just eat it. How does that sound? <laughs> well, I hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow.